Good afternoon, YouTube! And Finn, and friends. I just finished my very first day at my new job at the cooperative grocery store near my house. I unfortunately did not film any of it because I was working and it was my first day and I just didn't take my phone out. I can tell you I learned a great deal about the store. I got a tour of the store. I learned how to open the store. I learned how to crisp the produce. Crisping is a verb that is new to my vocabulary now. Crisping is you cut off the ends of the of the greenery like you would do to flowers, like the very just little end bits. You dip it in some water, you give it a little hydration, you crisp it up to put it back on the shelves. So I did a lot of that in the morning. I stocked everything. I the billion jillion different products and seltzers and chips. I shoved them into the shelves. So I had a great day of work um, that I did not film, but I can inform you that it was wonderful. Instead, for today's video, I decided that I would do a couple of recommendations. You know, I am uh, known to get excited about things. I'm known to be passionate about a few things. And I thought I would share two or three of them that I am currently really jiving on. So let's jump into it, shall we? The first thing I'm very interested in is Michael Pollan books. Books that are by Michael Pollan. Here are two of them. Uh, they're the only two that I've read. In fact, they are two of the only books that I have uh, read, period. This book, How to Change Your Mind, what the new science of psychedelics teaches us about consciousness, dying, addiction, depression, and transcendence. Whew, that's a mouthful. This is just the best book I've ever read. I just think it's amazing. And then his follow-up to that book is This Is Your Mind on Plants, which just came out very recently, and I'm about this far of the way through it. What I've come to realize is he is just like the best writer. I just love his writing style. He's non-fictional, but still telling a story. I love how his stories that he tells are, are just the stories of life, the story of his life, the story of the lives of others, and the story of the natural world that surrounds us. And it seems like he's doing what I think we all ought to do, which is come and search for this common universal truth of understanding of just like what the heck is, is going on. And um, he writes it all down in the most enjoyable and intellectual of ways that I certainly have a great time with. So I highly recommend if you're looking to pick up a book or if you're a reader and you're looking to check out a new author, I really don't think you can go wrong with Michael Pollan. That's recommendation number one. Recommendation number two, I will place the new album released by Still Woozy, the artist. The artist's name is Still Woozy, as in, I'm still woozy. It's called If This Isn't Nice, I Don't Know What Is, and it's Still Woozy's debut album. This man has just been releasing nothing but exclusively good songs. He has not had a single miss, a single falter, a single off-balance moment in his entire discography, and he continues that musical stream on if this isn't nice, I don't know what is. The genre that, that Google will tell you that it is, and perhaps uh, Spotify, they would say it is pop, but it's got guitar, he's sort of singing, um, and it's just, it's just wonderful. Every song is interesting, meaningful, and also a bop, a slap, a jam. So I just highly recommend that Finn, you and, and viewers, whoever, whoever and wherever you are, you check out Still Woozy's new album. So those are today's recommendations following my first day at work. And I also wanted to share a moment with you. Perhaps you could say a third recommendation is to get yourself a new pair of shoes. And I know what you're thinking, Max, didn't you just get a new pair of shoes? Didn't you just order it to your house? Don't I know about this? And aren't they purple Crocs? And if you were to have said all of those things, you're absolutely correct. I did get purple Crocs. I got two of them, one for the left, one for the right, and uh, I gotta say I love them. I'm, uh, I'm really happy with them. I think they're a size too small. I think I'm gonna have to send them back. But this, th these are no Crocs. This is a, a wonderful, brand new pair of sneakers. And for those of you who don't know me, <clears throat> I 
I don't tend to switch up my sneakers often, and when I do, I hop from pair of purple shoes to pair of purple shoes consistently. I'm constantly buying a new pair of purple shoes, and this is a, a bit of a deviation. There's certainly purple represented in the shoe, but there are other colors as well. And and uh, I'm excited to uh, to see to see these to see these in real life because I, I have yet to and I think Finn you'll find these particularly exciting and meaningful and maybe a few of you viewers out there will agree here we go inside the box we have Anderson Pack Vans that's right ladies and gentlemen Anderson Pack he is without a doubt my top three of all time just favorite artists Period. You know, like him, don't like him, that's on you. But on me, he's top three. Let's see what we got here, eh? Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Come on, baby, look at these guys! Look at these guys! Oh yeah, they're slick, they're smooth, they're purple as hell, oh my god. This is going to be a go-to shoe for, for a long time now. Look at this, look at this. Boom. Anderson Pack sneakers. And then the highlight, for those of you Pack fans out there, we got in this shoe, in the heel right here, we got a yes. See that little yes? And then in this shoe right here, we got a loud. Yes, loud. Boom. Boom. Oh, yeah. Yes, loud. In the new shorts and everything. Got new shorts on, too, baby. Some fresh new kicks and the fresh new shorts with the tall calf socks. Hoo yeah. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, we wish you love, wisdom, and peace. Andy. Finn, I absolutely loved seeing you sing with Ike. That brought me so much joy. I think it's just such a great video that we'll have to look back on forever. That moment in time where you and your brother came together and sang a song. It's on, it's on YouTube, it's a wonderful thing. I hope that you read a Michael Pollan book and check out Still Woozy's most recent release. If this isn't nice, I don't know what is. And I hope that you, honestly, at this point, I highly recommend a pair of Anderson Pax vans with the Yes Laud and the wonderful quotation on the inside. I am gonna wear these for two years straight with no exception, except for maybe my new Crocs. And that's it for today. All right, if you're here, if you stayed this long, thank you so much. I highly recommend that you subscribe, see the next video, uh, watch them all from the beginning, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. See you Thursday. Oh, and good luck tomorrow catching that newspaper man.